bitte. Today, me and Mr. Beans are gonna see if we can take this sous vide idea and do some bears overnight. It's getting kind of late, and I got some bears that are semi frozen. I'm gonna see if I can do them in the Ziploc, and then just I'm gonna scoot the cooler over to where I can plug it in and just do them overnight. See what happens. I can't imagine it not just working perfect. I love this dog, Beans. Hey, welcome back y'all. Let's get into a little skull cleaning. Now I always let my skulls thaw in a big barrel of some sort, whether it's a Yeti tank, a trash can or whatever. So I get this big bloody kind of soupy mess. So I'm gonna dig through here and fish these bears out and then I'm gonna vacuum seal them. I tried a couple different ways with the Ziploc, really just not strong enough for this sort of uh, abuse, if you will. And then we're gonna turn that sous vide up as hot as we can get her for eight hours and we'll revisit it here in a tick. It's pretty exciting, those bears just barely fit into those bags. All right, so the number one rule in skull cleaning, if you're gonna boil using the method that I use, uh, you're gonna to wanna to remove as much meat and tissue as you can initially. Some of these bears came in real clean and some of them had that big head meat on there, the tongues and whatnot. Just peel all that stuff off before you get started. Now, some of you may notice here, and I don't know if I was just tired or not paying attention, but I did something wrong right in the very beginning and never caught it. I put no fluid in the bags. So I pretty much just sous vide them in their own oils and stink and I regret doing that. Although it worked, I would forever recommend that you fill the bag up with a little bit of water and dish soap before you drop it into the hot sous vide water. These bears, there's four bears. They have been down in the uh, hot water, the sous vide hot water. It got to about 170 and it was in there for eight hours. And I had trouble with them floating because of all the air in the bag. That's another good reason to put water in there and some dish soap to weight them. But I'm just gonna pull them out, open the bag, and then power wash all the meat and tissue off. In classic white bone creation style, I am gonna recommend that you spray into every hole and every orifice. Anywhere there's meat or tissue, make it go away. find out later that this bear was headshot. I did not know before I was washing. So I washed all the little pieces and the other three bears and I drop them all into like a turkey fryer pot. I fill it up with water, just enough room to add one gallon of aqua silk. It's a pool product with hydrogen peroxide in it. I bring that solution to a boil. It's roughly three gallons of water, one gallon of aqua silk. I bring it to a boil, then cut the heat off, and then pull those skulls out and just rinse them clean. That solution will whiten and degrease. Now, I honestly wasn't gonna make this film or use any of this footage, but I just stumbled across it and there's been a lot of requests. So I owe it to everybody that watches and supports that I'm gonna continue to give you this. The only reason I wasn't gonna is just cause I've done bears. Now, bears grease up horribly. So I, you can see this orange Home Depot bucket and those bears down in there. They've been soaking in acetone for two weeks. That got all the grease out of them. That was kind of the stopping point of the film. 
So I've drained them real good, let them dry, and then I'm gonna run them back through the whitening mix one more time in the whitener. And what that's gonna do now that they're degreased is they're gonna be beautiful. The peroxide will do some degreasing, but not like acetone will. Quick recap, just in case you missed it. So I'm gonna use one gallon of aqua silk. It needs to be the shock oxidizer. I think a lot of people have got the wrong aqua silk. And then water, just top it off with water. Whatever that becomes, that's the number. Bring it to a boil, shut it off, rinse it, let her dry. One more little pro tip as I'm sorting through this footage. If you ever have trouble with skulls floating, just use your forceps. I have literally dozens of these things. Clip it into the skull and then take another one and clip that forceps to the pot underwater. Problem solved. I can't remember if I ever finished the bear video or not. And I'm about to deliver this bear, so. I'm so bad at keeping track of footage right now because we have so many hunts going on and I'm kind of traveling here and there filming hunts for guys. Um, so before I take it back, I'll just show you. This is the sous vide bear. Uh, if you guys remember when I did that, my error in that film uh, my error in the process was I didn't put any water in the bag, so I kind of cooked them in their own oils. This one sat in a barrel of acetone for almost three weeks. It is oil-free and beautiful. Um, anyway, it's got a coat of mop and glow on it like all the other videos before. And that's it, sous vide bear. The key to sous vide, make sure that you're filling the bag full of water and degreaser. That way it's pulling that uh, oil and grease and stuff away from the bone. That's it. Huh, Mr. Beans? You guys want to see Mr. Beans? Come here, buddy. Come here. He thinks I'm taking him outside for the day. Say what's up. Look at the camera and say what's up. Right there. Okay, see ya. Beans.